Dr. Tunis Hunt is here, and a lot of folks may be splurging on Valentine's and not eating great for a couple of days there, but uh, Dr. Hunt is here to talk to us about some of the mistakes that people make when they're trying to commit themselves to dieting. And what, what are some of those key, key things that folks aren't getting it right when they're dieting? Sure, well, we all know dieting is an epidemic in our society. Everyone's overweight, they always wanna be on a diet. And really the biggest key that everyone really makes a mistake on is they avoid fat like the plague. We have this conception in our, our society that if we eat low fat, no fat, we're not gonna gain fat, and nothing yeah. could be further th from the truth. And you're saying there are some physiological reasons in the body why you need at least good fats in your diet, a portion of your diet to be uh, in the form of fat. That's correct, you know, we need energy, and so we get energy from three main sources, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. And fat really has twice the energy of the other two, so when we eat it, it burns more metabolism. It helps us burn fat more. What happens to our body and our metabolism when we start to, like you said, starve our bodies of all kinds of fat? Sure, so an area of, in the body called the liver has pathways that actually stimulate fat burning. Well, those pathways aren't turned on unless we're eating good, healthy fat. Yeah. Think of it like spring training. You know, the healthy young players go out on the field, they impress the coach, the liver, yeah. that, hey, we're better than these old guys. Yeah. And so, as a result, the, the coach replaces the old fat with the new fat, and we're burning fat. So we need to okay. eat fat in order to do that. And and it's also a matter of uh, what you're consuming because you were saying hey, there are, are fats that aren't good for you that you may want to stretch out of your diet, but then there are good fats that actually do what you're talking about, help motivate your metabolism. That's absolutely correct. You know, so it's not a free-for-all of eating any fat out there. So there are such things as healthy fats. One of my favorites is avocados. Okay. Fantastic fruit. It's got the ability to actually lower bad cholesterol, improve good cholesterol. Okay. It's chock full of folate, which is fantastic for prenatal and, and pregnancy. Okay. Another favorite one of mine is coconut oil. Okay. Fantastic to cook with. You can actually use it for your skin as a moisturizer. You can put it in your hair as a conditioner. Fantastic okay. way of getting a healthy fat. And another fantastic one is butter and ghee. Okay. Butter has been villainized. Yeah. We, we were all about the, the can't believe it's not butter, the low fat butters, and it's really the things that's causing the most inflammation. So butter's fantastic not only to feed your brain, but it's fantastic to keep yeah. you full all day. And that's really the key, Chris. When we eat fat and we feel more full, we're not running to the kitchen, we're not yeah. running to get that snack, and we're not eating those things that really cause us to gain weight, which is the refined carbohydrates, like the cookies and the pastas yeah. and the breads. Right. And that's really why our blood sugar goes up and down so, all day. So get some real honest to goodness butter and get rid of the margarine. That's right, I'm yeah. a fan of butter, good butter though. Yeah. You know, so I'm a fan of the, what they and call grass fed. And moderation. Th right, we yeah. don't need a stick a day, yeah. but uh, <laughs> right. a little bit in the pan, a little bit with right. your noodles, fantastic. Dr. Hunt, great advice, thank you for coming My in. Pleasure.